Hello friends, welcome again. We are checking power supply in previous video and we are continuing that checking process. So to check the a power supply first we have to input AC voltage in it, then set the multimeter in 20 voltage DC 20 volt DC range and put the black probe of multimeter in any black wire you can see many black wires are available in this connector this is called ATX 2024 pin connector of power supply and you can you have to put any black this black probe at any black wire I have put it in put it here and then you have to check the voltages without starting this power supply the, there must be 5 volt in green and 5 volt in purple wire so if it is ok then you can start this power supply by joining the green and black wire join the green and black wire then the power supply will start and you, then after you can check the voltages in other wire like in red there is 5 voltage in hello there is 12 voltage in orange there is 3.3 voltage in blue there must be minus 12 voltage in white there must be 5 voltage minus 5 voltage so these are the voltages which are generated by the SMPS and supplied to the motherboard and the motherboard works with these types of power out of these powers the 12 volt is the highest power which are being used by the uh, the pass having motors like fan but the main purpose the main function of motor is to rotate the and the rotating the pass which have rotating facilities are fan hard disk dvd so these are the pass which are used 12 volt because motor are placed in this pass and motor use 12 volt and the 5 volt is the 5 volt the 5 volt is out in red wire so this voltage goes to this 5 voltage goes to okay let's see this is the 5 voltage generated by the red generated in the red wire and this voltage goes to the keyboard mouse usb lan audio so these are the section which are which works with the 5 volt and the 3 volt 3.3 volt in orange wire this wire generates 3.3 volt all the oranges orange wire generate 3.3 voltage and this voltage goes to the ram section and uh, the all the other section of motherboard like uh, ICs, north free south with chipset ICs, which are which consume very low voltage is supplied by this orange wire and so these are the voltage uh, power supply outputs and supply to the all section of motherboard and motherboard works on these voltages so if you, while you are checking a power while a computer is dead first you have to check this power supply if the power supply is okay then you, then there must be fault in your motherboard or power or switch but if this power supply is faulty then you can replace this power supply and solve your dead problem so it is very easy process so you can check it very easily and let's let's understand about the voltages written over here so I have discussed that 3.3 volt in orange 12 volt in yellow 5 volt in red are supplied to all the section this these voltages are output when the power supply started but before starting the power supply there are some voltages which are called which are in purple and that is 5 volt and green that is 
3.3 volt so what are the main function of this voltage the main function of this voltage is to supply standby voltage standby voltage to the switch because before starting computer there must be power voltage available in the switch and some section of the motherboard so that computer can understand the command of user so this voltage are supplied by the purple wire and the name of this voltage is plus 5b sb sb stand for standby the voltage which comes out through purple is called a standby voltage and this standby voltage goes to the some section of motherboard and to the power switch and after switching and after pressing power switch the motherboard connects green wire with black and send and start this power supply so the basic basically we doesn't start this computer we just command the comp motherboard by pressing switch and the motherboard start this power supply so power uh, power switch never connected with this smps power switch is connected with the motherboard and the motherboard is the switching per function of the power supply is controlled by the motherboard so to start the mother to start the power supply by motherboard the green wire is used and to get to supply the standby voltage in uh, power switch purple wire is used and what is the pok there is a brown brown wire where pok is pok stand for power ok power ok means if there is any fault if there is any fault in motherboard then motherboard sends motherboard interrupt that signal and smps stops working so if motherboard send pok signal to smps then smps continue supplying voltage to the motherboard if the pok signal is interrupted then smps cannot stop working so in case of any fault in sorting or any problem in motherboard the power ok pok signal is interrupted and the smps st stopped working so that is the signal which works as a feedback if feedback back it back signal is okay then smps works properly if that signal is not okay then smps stop working and the name of green wire is ps on means power supply on so you it's clear that you can understand that what are the voltages available in all the wires and what are the function of that voltages okay let let me let us discuss about something about the connectors you can see here many connectors are out, taken out from this SMPS. Out of this, there are the two main connectors. One is this. This is in this connector. You can see 20, 20 or 24 pin. This is 24 pin connectors. And in previous old boards, old motherboards, only 20 pin connector are used. So in that case, you can take this 4 pin from out from this connector and use this. In the new motherboard, 24 pin connectors are used so you can use this use all this 24 connectors and this is connectors for processor this is for a whole motherboard section and this is for processor only and the other connectors are for DVD and hard disk so in case of PATA these connectors are used in case of SATA another SATA connectors are used the additional disk connector must be inserted into this in new motherboards it is attached with the smps and this 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 is the floppy the connectors for floppy disks but these are not used in new computers so these are the connectors of smps thanks for watching subscribe the channel share the video and help us to grow the channel thank you bye bye